Welcome back to the studio here at GTV, Hollywood Bets Gravel, where Dees and I are going through the shortlist. And as we were saying off air, it'll be the short shortlist because we're quite similar in uh, a couple of the races and a little different in the others. Let's go. Let's put up my shortlist and then we'll hand over to Dees. My shortlist, Place Accumulator Bankers, Diamonds and Dust. Race two, number two, taking a bit of a chance with this filly. I like the way she won last time. For me, I think she's good enough to run in the first three. Secret is ours. Race four, number two, Place Accumulator Banker. You'll see I've only got one suggested pick six bank of Broadway. Well, you can add number uh, two in the fourth race, Secret is ours. Place Accumulator, I think she'll be hard to beat. Fifth race, number seven, Broadway, Place Accumulator Banker. There's my pick six banker, race five, number seven, Broadway, Lazan Forbes' horse. But please feel free to, as I say, add race four, number two, Secret is ours, because Dees and I are big on those two. Horses to watch out for, Lundy Island. We in agreement there, my colleague and I, colleague and good friend Dees Dynant, race three, number eight, Lundy Island. We like, keep an eye on this horse. Smart Socks, race six, number seven, the way this horse moted home last time, I think he, he certainly got a bright place chance come Monday again. And then the eighth race, number six, Fort Royal, certainly one to watch out for, is going to go into my trifectas and quartets. That's my shortlist. Without any further ado, let's go to Dees Dynant for his shortlist. Yeah, thanks to you, Warren. And uh, race number four, horse number two, secret is ours. Just on the, the lack of opposition uh, that he takes on in that field, nicely drawn at two. Very good last start behind Legislate Stance. And whilst the form line of that last start hasn't held up, looks the right rate. Expect the horse to be deep in the red and the horse to beat. Race number five, number seven, Broadway. Uh, place accumulator banker, a uh, horse that uh, they really liked at the sale. That's uh, Sinet and Barsi Fillion. Put their hand up, got him for 1.3 million. Very good introduction by the superbly bred individual at Scottsville. That run certain to have brought him on. Again, it's all about uh, the runners that you're taking on and there doesn't seem to be much form in race number five. He'll be good enough for the place accumulator and the pick six. And then race number eight, number two, year in after, I think should be good enough for the place accumulator after a fair effort over 1,200 meters last time out. And I'll say the filly will be much better suited to 1,400 my street drawn with Anton Marcus up. The bankers in the pick six, we've touched of them in the place accumulator leg. Race four, number two, secret is ours. Race five, number seven, Broadway. And then horses to watch out for. I'm in agreement with Warren. Whilst we respect number four, perfect display in race number three, she does have a problem breathing in races. And if it affects her in the running, then this could be the race for Lundy Island to come through and win. A blinker strike doesn't give you all the confidence in black and white, but we're hoping the blinkers can do the trick and she looks like she's in the right field to hopefully put her best foot forward. And in race number seven, what a blast. Very disappointed with that last start from this individual, uh, but uh, he was running on behind two of us and hopefully uh, a fair draw this time round. He could be nicely positioned by Warren Kennedy and if his mind's on racing over the final 400, I think he could run this field down. Race number seven, number seven, what a blast. And that's a wrap, Warren. We've given the guys the two bankers. Nothing too creative. If you have a look at the fixed odds betting market, we're expecting Secret is Ours and Broadway to be in the red. But what we're saying is, in those fields, they are at the right price to be in the red because they're in the right field and sure. they should deliver. Absolutely. They certainly look to be the right ones. Structure, we've said it time and time again, and that's how we've structured it. Just before we wrap, just to let the uh, viewers know, uh, the diary for the week. Of course, Monday, the 15th of March, 2021, we're racing at Hollywood Bets. Gravel, Tuesday, we're at the Val. Wednesday, we're back at Hollywood Bets. Gravel, Thursday, Turf and Tain, and Friday, Fairview. So that's midweek, what you've got to look forward to. From Dees Dynant and I, and the entire GTV team, Stay safe, hunt well, and we'll see you, as always, from the number one box.